Welcome Libra to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing a reading for Libra. Uh, sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Uh, this is the Rainbow Wizard Tarot. Um, I hope you're doing amazing. Uh, it is the 6th of April, so uh, we are on season of Aries. We are on the Mercury retrograde. And uh, yeah, this reading is for the middle of April or you apply it to the time it resonates for you. Libra, you can also check out other signs in your chart. I was away uh, during Easter break, so um, I'm back now. So I will be posting the yeah, 12 signs over the weekend. I did post an all signs reading just before I left. Uh, I think there was a lot of strong messages, <laughs> I recall. So uh, you can also check out that reading. All right, I am ready to do your reading, Libra. Please like, subscribe, share the video. And I always love to hear from you as well. So leave a comment. Now, you and this person or person is enjoy giving each other attention. Um, they rush in to give you attention and you give them attention or you respond, uh, which is at six of wands. There's two people that, in, you, that enjoy interacting, uh, but especially showering each other with attention. Now, you could miss this person's attention. Or they could miss yours, uh, Libra. Um, and this person is it could have ghosted you. They could play foolish games, so they didn't get your attention. So now they spill over a few cups and they went away, rushed away. This person is uh, yeah, very annoyed. Uh, so it's kind of childish here. Uh, this person feels uh, you know, wounded a bit. Now Libra, um, they desire here, or well, their intentions is to get together in harmony, to build a home. The four of wands could also be a twin flame connection. Is celebrating, is being together, is enjoying the home of, and the kind of the celebration around the relationship that is before you. It's a honeymoon period. It's before even moving into that phase as well. I mean, yes, it can mean weddings and family gatherings, and but it's like a union. It's something about their intention is to manifest you back, is to be in this union here. Now, they could they could have been foolish here when it comes to getting attentions like this person could be all over instagram all over social media they could have fake accounts they did something kind of foolish that didn't really put them in a good light here with you libra it was to totally unnecessary as well i see that you libra you are many of you are focusing on your beauty regime you are uh maybe working out or doing something to your body, your face. Um, you are also looking into, you know, where is your creativity at? What, what do you want to do in life? Which do you need to do a course? Do you need to improve anything in your life? What do you want to manifest? Many of you could be great manifestors as well. You feel a bit sort of confused about maybe have you made a wrong choice or is there another choice and options for you as well you could be surrounded by options it does actually say to take a look at these options you're looking amazing so it says make the most of it but also keep in mind in, in those cups there might be a, a snake there might be something you don't want to so don't overuse the options as well <laughs> that is presented to you now this person here is um very, very attracted to you. They miss you. They can't bear to be away from you. In the current, it is feeling of feeling sad that there is regret. Someone does regret doing something, but see here, they could have blocked you, went out the door, and but this person is just, they don't like being there at all. They are suffering because of it. This person could, again, create fake accounts, but they are not saying they're doing it. They're doing something really foolish here. This person is, again, they could be quite possessive, keeping their guards up. This is someone that is behind the scenes doing this. It They might not even necessarily be a person that you have feelings for anymore, even if it's someone that shows up in the reading. I do feel that you have a few options around you in love, Libra. There could be a Leo trying to return to your life. This could be someone that goes to you, played mind games as well. I do see someone that caused quite a lot of havoc and sabotage with their ways. 
I don't really feel that you have feelings or see that you have feelings for this person, Libra, but they are showing up in your reading. They have feelings for you. This is someone that they believe that they almost own you and this connection, basically. <laughs> they believe that they can't do anything wrong. The Knight of Wands, the Five of Swords, it's like they should quit while they're ahead, but it's too late for that. This person could be a bully. They could be just repeating something that is bad behavior, but their intention is still to get together with you. Mm. And it's as if you are not looking to get together with them, but they're in your energy. Maybe you are, maybe you aren't. Um, I'm picking up Libra that... Um, you are rather moving away from someone. You see here with the strength as well. You are like, oh, <laughs> you are taming them. You know who they are, but you might have to really put your foot down with this person here because someone here is quite relentless uh, about moving towards you and, um, yeah, <laughs> getting their way, basically. Um, they're frantically also trying to keep a secret from you and that could be why they ghosted you that could be why they left you out on the call and they hope that if they just play dead for however how long and that secret will just go down in the grave with them but they are not dead so they're very much alive and kicking but they kept their guards up they did something that was misbehaving they didn't really address it and uh, had any self-awareness as well when it come, came to what they did here i'm picking up but again, they're showing up in your energy quite strong here. But I don't feel, Libra, that you are going to move towards this person. I don't really feel that. Um, I feel that there are other people around you. I also see that you are very much in your energy where you are embracing something uh, new. Also embracing, manifesting um, your desires uh, into your life as well. Searching, also doing some research, could improving your skills as well. You could have tried to collaborate with someone. Like there is a lot of attraction. There is unconditional love. There is a lot of fun here as well in this connection here. But I see that now there is a big difference in the where you are in life compared to where this person they're at at this very moment. There is a there's definitely a big um big difference there. I'm also seeing Libra that you have the necessary skills to be fulfilled and make yourself very happy at this time. I see that you are really getting this person did you favor disappearing for a minute um, because it's like you have been spending time of what you want to accomplish yourself, like what truly makes you happy, staying focused on your aspirations as well, uh, especially in your professional life. And you're discovering what you really, really want, Libra, and uh, moving in the right direction. You could be under divine protection, Libra. You have been patient. You are waking up to, you know, your cre creative abilities. There could be a fertile energy around you as well. And it's making you think about who you really, you know, want to prioritize in your life when it comes to your love life. And um, there could be a brutal change here that is coming towards you very, very fast. So be prepared. Something about 38. I don't know if any of you are 38 years old. If, on the other hand here, if you are drowning in celibacy, for example, as well, is... Um, an encounter is going to change your life. <laughs> so no more celibacy. Um, let's see, who is this person that is showing up on the side? Okay, so uh, could be a Leo. They definitely have that in their chart. Okay. Now, this person had passion and high standards. They... They could have sort of dived into the nine of pentacles and maybe they sort of slipped through their fingers because they didn't, they didn't like build, like they didn't have a long-term view and hard work and perseverance and diligence and in right investments. This person could be reversing that and starting over. I'm also seeing here that um, this person, there's a lack of purpose, too much up in their head, fantasy, illusion, confusion you could be dealing with an uh 
a king of wands in reverse. They're ruthless, um, high expectations to haste. And they also have like um, unachievable expectations when it comes to this connection. And something is unrealistic. So meaning that this person is like, yes, they, they feel that they met you by destiny. And because of the fire that is burning so strong for you, they feel that, yeah, they must be in your life. But what they've done in your life has not been proven uh, by someone that seemed to be really in your life for a destined reason. It's rather the opposite. They, you could have seen this person's worst side. Uh, like this person's shadow side, for sure. They have definitely dark side. One side of the, the coin here, this person had the ability to be this wealthy businessman, businesswoman. The discipline and abundance and prosperity. But I see them, right, they are... There's a conflict with other people. They feel lack of support, breakdown in communication, and conflict. I see that because of things not going their way in this connection, they have like been very difficult to deal with. This is a divine love with you and them, yes. There's harmony, blissful relationship. Like there is... They have also experienced that with you. You could be have been in a relationship or situationship with this person, Libra. And this connection had many opportunities to transition into a new chapter. But you're dealing with someone, they have unresolved issues. They could be, again, there's something they are, is almost like addicted to, or like they do something strategic, they do something underhanded, they do something like they're not honest about something here and and that it has backfired on them that's not to say that this person can't things can't change for them of course not it because it is possible here they've done it before they tend to get carried away with imagination and think that they have some kind of wealth they don't have and think that they have something like it's theirs and they can just treat it however they want but yeah i don't think that's going to happen for them that they this could be a person that is behind the scenes, Libra, that you have, they left you, now you have moved away from them as well, based on, you know, you were tired of trying to tame the beasts within them. So, but this person is showing up uh, strong in your reading. They are on your mind, but I feel that you have decided to move away from this energy. That's for most of you, but uh, I'm not here to tell you who you have moved away from. <laughs> so, I see that you are thriving in your current energy, a Libra. People could be telling you you look beautiful, uh, you glowing, you people love being around you. You bring a lot of laughter and fun, and yeah, there is a people are very 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 attracted to you. You might be also taking off a mask that you've been wearing in a way of uh, being even more authentic. Um, Libra, perhaps you had to hide part of yourself or something with the person that you were dealing with in the past. You feel that you have healed from that. You have taken time for yourself. You feel now that you can be yourself. You are listening to intuition, uh, making choices based on... Um, yeah, just ma making, making the right choices as well. And we have here with the... There is something coming out of... Like you are... You are going away from someone that was wearing a mask here, someone that was lying, cheating, stealing, like reversing that. If you have been that person, you are reversing it. You are like your next relationship, your next person. You, you don't want that to be a foundation. You are done with that. You could have played this game, cat and mouse game with someone, even if without knowing or wanting it, it just ended up this way. Is something about taming the beast. But you have tamed uh, yourself. You have, you, you you know now what you're attracted to. You are attracted. You could have Pisces in your chart, Libra. Oh, I definitely see there is a reunion. A special person is watching you or longing for you, Libra. 
this person might live at a distance from you and there is a taking action in love, success. It's requiring some willpower as well. A person that uh, this did not get off the ground or anything like that, Libra. There is a person here you might think that, oh, there's absolutely no chance or that you will not ever see them again. Um, picking up Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, another Libra. Yeah, there's something that is kind of surprising, a surprise invite. Surprise invite. But you are, in your feelings, there is a person, I would say there's a bit of cat and mouse. They ghost you, you move away, you, are, you want to end this kind of, back and forth thing with this person. It's uh, it's stressful and it, 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 I see that you are taking back your power and that you are not going to move forward with this person. But I do feel and see that th there is a person here that is quite stuck on your path as well. They are just pushing their way through, through the web. <laughs> I'm picking up just someone that is very, very difficult personality. But it's too little too late when it comes to any reunion in love. This person, I don't see that is, uh, you know, it's it's too far gone. Like this, they, they ruined something good here. You, you're dealing with a difficult personality. They did ruin something good. And now you are seeking the spiritual guidance and healing. Uh, Libra. Um, in the current energy, you could feel quite sad about that you have to be... Uh, keep your guards up for someone, um, Libra, that you can't be friends with them. Or there's someone here that you want to be friends with, like you want to keep them in your life, but this person is just causing difficulties. They don't need to do that, but they are doing that. There is a person in your life that is being very strategic, but they could be sort of throwing the strategy at the window. Uh, it's possibly a Capricorn. Yeah. It is possible Capricorn is moving towards you, Libra. Options. Gemini is here. Virgo. You have quite a few people around you. But there is only one person that... Like, you could have fun. You could have sexual attraction to someone. You could date people at this time, Libra. Picking up from many of you are dating someone. Someone is here to kind of confuse you again. Mm. It's saying you have to be careful not to indulge too much in fantasies when it comes to finances. Someone here that is trying to impact you with their fantasies as well. There is a person here that's very unrealistic about their finances. They could brag a lot about stuff they don't have. There's a lot of partying around you or there's a lot of, it's like it could be dating. It's a time of fun. You could be a little strategic here with how you delegate your energy to someone, Libra. Holding back, you're watching someone giving a little. So I see there is a takes two to tango. Libra, this reading could be quite personal. <laughs> um, yeah, I see here, this could be reading for someone that's quite young, even in their 20s. Someone is frantically, like, you want to know the truth about someone, but they're frantically keeping a secret. And they could be doing it on purpose, like, they want you to think that they are so mysterious that you run after them, even if you don't want to be with them, just because you need to find out. They have this ability to make you codependent on them. It's like they make you sort of feel like you need to get that last piece of information. Um, what is this here? And the current situation going on with someone being strategic with the devil. Yeah, this is going to come out. The secret is going to come out. I see someone there recently becoming single and ready to mingle. That's for sure. That could be you, Libra. You could have Libra in your chart for some of you. Yeah. There is an coming out of isolation. I definitely see for many of you, Libra, it's like celibacy is over. 
Someone is trying to make you turn around in the door and look at them instead. Someone you once loved or someone that once loved you, they, they are coming back to, to share these emotions with you. Something's really like full on is happening here, uh, Libra, because it's like you are realizing about the spiritual connection that's been buried for a while with the Pisces or Scorpio. A spiritual connection buried, not come to light. No one's spoken about it. I see you as well. There could be, okay, there could be two people here that is like really blowing off some steam, okay? I see many of you, Libra, there is like dating, going out, having fun, feeling good about that. Someone else is doing the same, not feeling so good about it, trying to play games with you while you're not caring. Not, there is someone here that think you are strategic when you're not. Hmm. Now, so I have the, um, the year of the rat, the year of the ox and the year of the snake. These are all compatible, by the way. But that could be someone you're dealing with. This, this could be significant in this reading. Year of the rat, year of the ox definitely is um, com compatible. And year of the snake and uh, year of the ox too. But I think also the year of the rat. So yeah, that's coming up here. Uh, I'm also picking up that um, with the south node of the past, it is um, there could be a little stressful situation. Um, there might be you being confronted with addictive habits. And you might heal triggers at this time. Patterns from the past, take them as a teaching moment and learn. Yeah, with all this partying going on or a celebration, there's something could be triggered that you might have to keep in check. There might be this feeling as well that you feel like you owe someone something, but you don't. There is a karmic situation here that is a, has a pattern. It's not clear to you. There's a lot of confusion. Why, why are you in touch with someone as well? There is also something about you uh, facing that you are born with a skill set, uh, Libra. And don't be so confused about it. You can just apply it here. You have a certain skill set. Just keep applying it and see what happens with it. You might uh, be confused because you're trying to overcomplicate something. It's like there's something you do day to day that you're good at. And you might say, oh, my dreams are X, Y, and Z. But I can't do that because I'm lacking the skills. But it says here you don't have to really look at it this way. For example, me, when I started doing YouTube, uh, no, I don't have any skills still, but I'm doing something I'm passionate about. So there's always room for, like, I don't have editing skills. I'm like, a lot, lot of skills I don't have, <laughs> let's say. And if I was to look at those skills, I would never have done YouTube, okay? I would just in a million years. And I also had comments all for, you know, probably a year or two years because I didn't really want to be disturbed. And I think sometimes... Um, that could be something that you are afraid of getting off the ground or you are not doing it because you think that someone's watching you. You have to do it perfect first. And it's saying here that you are born with a certain skill set, that you have talent, but uh, it's like there's nothing like that just sort of opens up miraculously and, and people are just walking out of the door and saying, oh, I am now ready and everyone's going to clap their hands for me. Uh, there could be just something like uh, that your feeling and it just says keep launching your skills and there could be someone that have triggered your insecurities based on the like this person that was someone that supported you and they left your life and now they're back and there is a karmic connection um but yeah this person here is, uh, is still around and um, i'm seeing here also that Oh, I don't know. Uh, this is. Um, there's something about a situation in your life that is familiar, but without a story. It's something about an echo of a, another lifetime, Libra. There is someone here that's in your life that gives an echo to you in your subconsciousness about another lifetime. And. But it has a karmic tie to it. There could be a lot of confusion to why you have such 
strong tied to this person. You might not even see this person on day to day. But there will be a revelation, something that is going to be revealed, a mystery, aha, someone is coming out of the, the shell here, releasing their, there is also going out of celibacy, I'm seeing as well. Hmm. Wow, quite crazy energy. Um, the 12th house of introspection. This is definitely a card that is saying to face your fears before they face you. Meditation, definitely creative bliss. A feeling a deep connection to source and knowing that you're not alone. Maybe you feel that you have to only be attached to one reality when a lot, like both re realities could be clear and true. It is a time for you to maybe pursue spiritual practice. It can help you find a healthy midpoint between disconnected, lonely state and a state of connection. And grounding yourself will help you return to your personal path. Introspection is quite important for you right now, Libra. There is a really complex situation you're going through. It's, uh, and you are going to learn what is going on behind the scenes and learn about that before you take any action at all. Look for private motives, hidden enemies. Listen within at this time as well. Very interesting uh, yeah, energy here. There's something about a lot. You are keeping so much to yourself at this time, Libra. You could be seen as very secretive. <laughs> you could even keep secrets from yourself. <laughs> something is coming to the surface here. Yeah, it has to do with healing your heart. From a very toxic, either from own addiction or toxicity or abusive relationship. Where you felt deeply hurt and sad and felt lost and grieving and despair and breakup. But it is in the past. This is a new phase for you. You are rekindling also with yourself, renewing and growing, changing your mind, rising from the ashes like the phoenix. With the wisdom, uh, which is the hermit. It is um, something about this phase of your life to go through a certain pain and you might not even be in pain at the moment, but there is something that you have experienced that came to a toxic relationship in the past where you have flipped the script, where you have said, ah, I don't, I don't care. I, I don't care if I don't have proof what you're doing because I see what you're doing and I'm just telling you that's what you're doing. So that's what I see is that, you know, you're not really sort of waiting and tiptoeing or going on it, walking on eggshells. So you're just saying, I, I, I don't care. I don't need, I don't need you in black and white. I don't care that you have uh, like got away with certain secrets and that's not making it better. It's just my suspiciousness and I, what I've seen, that's enough for me. That's what, what you're saying. And then that's making you move forward from someone. And you could be that teacher that like as a student and you become the teacher as well, uh, Libra. And with the solitude, yeah, it's something you are learning in solitude. Pausing your mind, stilling your mind, reflecting, reevaluating, discovering wisdom and answer within, in a, like your soul. You are going to become more aware of your soul and heart, Libra. And if there is something about an awakening around you. Also, conserve your energy, dealing with one thing at a time. Yeah, definitely a lot of inner solitude. So this could be a, quite a personal reading for those of you that are, it's like, in your surroundings, you are going to embrace this newfound you, this new truth that you're discovering as well. There's going to be a blanket of strength. I feel that for many of you, Libra, it's that there's a lot of attention on you. There could be dates, dating and so on. But in terms of you choosing and deciding what you want and love, that is not now. 
A person here in your past, I feel this person could have water elements in their chart. This person have always loved you. This kind of person could have also teach you something about solitude. I don't know. Or when you are in solitude, suddenly you have a dream or connect with this person. You might not see this person day to day, but uh, yeah, something here uh, about that. I'm going to add a few more messages um, before I end this reading. Libra, anything else about the person that is, well, is it going to be successful outcome with anyone coming towards a Libra in April? What do you want love dearly and you had so much joy with? I think you're going to say that is enough. You feel strained from that. You're going to leave it out in the cold. You're ready to take a new direction, Libra. Very many of you are on this spiritual journey. There has been a difficult person, difficult situation. Some of you have been stuck in a karmic wheel, in a karmic connection for the longest time. This painful connection that's just stalling you. Definitely stalling you. It's uh, I can feel the being drained. If something's going around and around in your head, like this wheel could be spinning around your head. Someone doesn't want to, they're stuck to this wheel. They don't want to get up off. And, and you are just going to say like, I don't care. I don't like, it's almost like you are constantly at some kind of war or suspicious. Like you are checking out what they're doing. They're checking out what you are doing, but it's all happening in secrecy as well. And this introspection that you're doing and just like thinking about things differently as well, Libra, is going to be like, it's going to be where you get your own protection and you're going to set yourself free from a karmic connection that's been haunting you for the longest time. There could be more than one connection as well. Something about karmic ties, Libra, that, oh my goodness cards are falling from over here yeah sorry <laughs> yeah there's karmic ties it's it's you releasing finding a way to release karmic ties that are keeping you stuck at the moment you could be thriving in your own environment because you are you have found this way you have found uh you know what what drives you how to move forward there's a change and, and there's a positive change, but you haven't really launched it to the world yet. In your feelings, you there is something about this. Um, like you feel that there are, you know, especially when it comes to dating, you feel like people are just out to get you out to like they are just you just see someone that where, where you see it, like a lot of people wearing a mask as well. Like you feel exhausted. You feel exhausted about the people that you have met. Someone with earth elements in their chart here, they could be going through a major tower moment. This is someone that you are meeting. This could be a work situation as well. Um, I see that, yeah, Libra, there's endings here. Someone leaving your life that's been in your life for a very long time that is karmic. There could be a tourist coming towards you. You could have Scorpio on your chart, maybe Taurus as well. Yeah. There is a super comic uh, connection here, Libra, that maybe you don't think much of like this. See, there has been heartache after heartache. There has been a lot of drama. There's been a third party situation. There has been like a messy situation around this here. And this has caused you to carry this kind of baggage around this connection. So I feel this reading is quite sort of personal. This came in as in reverse, the King of Swords. Yeah, there is something about very messy around. Yeah, the, the moon. It's like secrets now. Are, it's like the secrets that, you know what I see here, Libra? It's like something that you thought or someone thought was like, oh, we are, this is like such a big deal. We must never tell anyone because, oh my God, someone's going to get hurt. Or it's like, you don't, you just realize that. Maybe within that group or with that person, someone could have this sort of threat, like, oh my God, if that, you know, I can be upset with you for all eternity for what you did. There's something like that. Or so you have to kind of tiptoe around someone. It's something about that energy, Libra. It's like a really murky type of energy. <laughs> it's just like, 
it's like one person there's like one person exuding all this obscured like murkiness and like control at the same time as if the whole world evolves around them and their life and for you to make sure that they are all, all right at all times you could have been covering up for someone for the longest time as well. Again, I feel this reading could be quite personal here. This is just someone that you have a divine connection with, but like it was never really a happy ending. You could have also uh, spent your finances on them. Help this person. They feel that because they had known you for a certain amount of time now, Libra. They are like, you... You are their carer for the rest of their life. This person have maybe lost their job. There is something really bad that's happened to someone, but they are holding you responsible. Like you are the one that has to fix it for them. No one else can fix it. You have to fix it because you love them once. This is someone that like, if you think about it, like you are sort of thinking, oh, why am I the person that is responsible for them? That they Like they are pulling some strings on you, Libra, and you are sort of, trying to find a way out of that. So it could be family ties as well. It's something that is not, it's complicated, that's for sure. Definitely complicated uh, status. Uh, I feel, I get a stomach ache as I'm listening, or sorry, listening to my voice, speaking. It's very difficult to get my words out as well, like really difficult, yeah. Untreated mental disorder or someone is a narcissist as well. I don't want to be treated for a mental disorder because they are denying that they are narcissistic. Hmm. this person could be capricorn for some of you you're going towards a capricorn as well any any other messages here for libra please on the situation you're going to wrap up this i see that for many of you there will be someone uh libra that is walking back into your life or they're walking into your life and this person is so healthy wealthy it will be just like breathing with them uh, there's something that is just going to happen and you are just going to be taken out of a difficult situation this person takes care of you they're wealthy they love you but it's going to like your happiness with this person will heal and break the ties for good with someone that you have a very strong karmic tie this could be a family member this could be like it goes it's deeply rooted this person could have scorpio in their chart um this person you could have been in a long-term relationship with them trying to remain friends this person might have a um, earth in their chart or as well but someone here is, is like, you can't be a friend. Like you are offering a peaceful solution to them. But someone will be, I, I, feel, I feel like someone here is like, I'm going to pull some cards here. So what's happening um, with this person over here? We have the four of ones in reverse. Someone here is coming, in, coming back for round, uh, you know, two, three, four, five, uh, um, yeah, they're stuck on, on you, they are sort of, they could come in, they could act very awkward when they come towards you, they could be again just saying like, you know, it's it's me and you against the world, Libra, you know, I'm here now, you can't leave me behind, they're, they're saying to you, they're holding on to you, this person could also, uh, that could, uh, it's possible for some of you, uh, Libra, that you were meant to have a child with this person as well, maybe you have, maybe you have a child with them, but you plan for a future, you plan for a child. But this person here is definitely narcissistic traits. They could have air elements in their chart and also Pisces. Something about not healing and dealing with their problems. And they really are showing their dark sides here. They could also be someone that's always posting stuff on Facebook, uh, Instagram, right? They are. They could use black magic or like love spells, if nothing else. They tend to go for really insecure people. Maybe you were insecure at some point with them, but you're not anymore. I do see this person is... Um, let's see. Yeah. They could have really bad financial issues. They doesn't have to be mental issues as well. Like they are... Like 
refusing to deal with some something to do with their finances they could be trying to put it on you or, or get your help with it but yeah, like it's too much to ask like it's like something that like went down in the past as well like they're trying for you like you are responsible because you it could have been you it's something about um a libra that you might have just said like oh you know we mean you are always going to support each other but like life happens and and so on and so on right so they, this could be like a third third part like it's like three is a crowd i'm getting someone didn't transform they didn't do anything themselves as well and now they are still around you this is someone yeah the the knight of wands like they they could show everyone else that how much they can offer you or how great they are now and how they've changed right but they have no money and they you know their darkness but they are still coming popping up in your life and trying to get something from you that is for, for a few of you i see that you some of you could get married this year uh you have here like a long-term relationship a wish fulfillment uh libra yeah anything else for libra There is someone you need to cut ties with in order to become successful and also move forward. It says for many of you, Libra, you should pack your bags and move to another place. I'm seeing completely. There's just someone up in your grill for sure. You will, you will get what you, you desire here, um, uh, Libra. You have magic around you. There will be competition. There will be someone trying to, to make you stall. But I see that you are moving on just in time. You could be moving forward with an Aquarius. Um, there's Leo here as well. But you're leaving your burdens. You're leaving that crossroads in the, in the past. There's something about like you can never reopen again. And you're ready to do that. Yeah, there, there is, there's a, for many of you, Libra, there's someone you have to leave in the past. Several karmic ties that you are leaving in the past, uh, for sure. Because as you are starting to even to leave something behind in the past that is karmic, you, you'll get rewarded and, and, and you see that you are making the right decision. These are all like positive, like positive things popping up for you, Libra. Something you are like, wow, oh, I wish I did this before. Like there's someone here that wants to pull you down with them, pull them, let make you stay in the darkness where you don't belong at all. And you know that, but I just, it seems like you have a lot of people around you as well. And you are like looking, suddenly you're going to look at a lot of these people that were very close to you. And you're going to say, not you, not you, not you, not you, not you. And you're going to, to, you're going to catch people out and, and you're going to give them justice and you're going to wrap up chapters after chapter. You could even like socialize, go out and socialize, but do, during this you know, socializing, it's like you are going to speak the truth. You're going to say, you know, you're going to see exactly who, who you want to keep in your life. And it might be very few, you might be able to count them on one hand, even uh, Libra. So it's like a spring clean for you. And it's the spring clean is going to, again, like it's a new life, completely abundance, happiness. It's like darkness being moved, moved away from you completely. Yeah. You might have been stuck, just stuck, very much stuck. I'm seeing Libra. Yeah, stuck. Uh, feeling uninspired not creative okay uh like feeling that someone is pushing you down feeling that your destiny is on hold for many of you are uh, you are going to re reconnect with someone that has water in their chart there is someone here that could have leo or air in their chart that is a uh, like very narcissistic you're seeing the truth about them you're seeing like the aha awakening about them someone could end up in jail as well it's possible yeah, someone could definitely end up in jail. But yeah, keep keep uh, making those uh, decisions, uh, Libra. It's almost like you're going to see like everyone is like falling down into this hole. And you're thinking, gosh, that could have been me here. I mean, not that extreme. But again, I do feel like this reading is a little bit personal. So it might not suit anyone. But I definitely feel like here there's an extreme change. Like going from like not believing in yourself uh like 
you earning money but you're going to earn a lot of money and you're going to be with someone that's going to boost you like you're going to maybe go into business with someone this person could have aries gemini in their chart as well like this is a very successful successful union and there could there is many like there's quite a few karmic ties that you are releasing it doesn't have to be a lover but there is people around you that want to be in your life they cannot be in your life any longer because they have problems and they're trying to make their problems your problems and you just have to say goodbye to them and look after yourself for, for now uh, i see that libra and that's what you're doing wow a lot of messages please like subscribe and uh, share the video and you can also leave a comment thank you for watching i'll see you soon take care